Hi, I'm Eric and we're going to talk a little bit about what works for neurofeedback. So let's be clear, people's mentality is that they think that this is kind of a drug, it's going to work like a quick fix. Neurofeedback is not a quick fix, although we get a lot of results quickly uh, for whatever reason. We're giving the brain an experience to learn how to do something. And when the brain can be seeing itself in action, then it's able to learn quicker and faster. It's very similar to riding a bicycle. The very time, very first time you're doing this, you have no bearing, you have no prior experience to know what to do. But when you get repeatedly on that bicycle, you feel the imbalance, you feel the mechanism of steering, you start to then learn. So this is learning is what it is. You're learning how to either in neurofeedback talk, speed up your brain to be ultra simplistic, or you're learning to slow it down, or you're learning to how to keep it stable. And there's various parts of the brain. And I think of it as more like redirecting traffic. Sometimes traffic is too fast. Sometimes it's too slow. A person can be anxious and it's because they too have faster brain. It's too fast on the right side. There's too much what we call beta. But you could also have an anxious experience when the brain is too slow. It's, it's like driving in traffic on the highway and the fastest you can go is 25 miles per hour. Everybody else can go whizzing by you. So then you naturally get nervous when you need to talk to people. You're worried about tests. You um, just have a lot of self-doubt. And when you speed the brain up by training it to go faster, then you will, um, you, you, the anxiety goes down. So it's pretty complex. I like to keep things simple, but uh, really important to understand the mechanisms of this.